Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about pointers in Telegram. So what is a pointer, how to use it and uh, we will take one very uh, sample code to understand it. So pointer is a special type of variable that holds the address of anything in the memory. Okay. So pointer is nothing but the variable that holds the address of any other variable, right? You should declare any variable, right? That will get stored in the memory. So pointers are the variable that is hold the address of memory, right? So pointer type, okay? So you can declare a pointer to the any type using the syntax type, pointer type name and uh, caret type, okay? Equal to caret sign and type. So this is the caret sign, okay? You can declare a pointer type before uh, you declare the type of the pointer. So we need to declare the pointer type, right? Before the declaring the type, uh, type it pointer. Okay. You'll see in a uh, in that code. So pointer is a data type. So everything used in an application is stored somewhere in the computer memory. A pointer to that item simply point to the program to that memory location because the pointer holds the address of the other variable. It is said the pointer point to the to that variable. We can consider a pointer as a variable that holds the data address at runtime. We can point to the different variable in turn, even to unnamed variable which are alive only for a particular runtime period. Now we have the pointer as a data type, nulling pointers, character pointers, pointers to the record. So record type also we can create as a pointer record okay procedural and method pointer we have pointer and the width so here in this uh, just i have declared two variable of integer time i value one and i value two value two okay and uh, this is the pointer variable so if you see that this is the caret sign so that means this is the pointer type p int value variable is a pointer type integer okay or we can say that uh, p int value will store the address of the integer type of any variable right so here what i'm doing i value one i'm assigning the integer value okay i'm just putting the printing the value after that i value one at the rate of i value one will what this is the address right so it will store the address right in this at the rate of value one that will store the address and that will assign to the p int value so this is the pointer right p int value is the pointer so we can store the address right of any variable into p int value so this will actually give you the address of the i value one variable and that will be a, somewhere it's stored in the memory okay so this is the address of i value one and that will be stored into the point integer pointer type variable right and after that this is the now p int value is the integer pointer right and that is holding the address of the i value one variable now how how will get the value no? what is the value is uh, stored at p in value one right or what is the value of the p in value pointer okay at this address so what will do p in value caret sign if i put it in the last then i will get the value of right whatever the memory it is stored right so it will give you the value. So this pointer location in the memory, what is the value is stored, right? It will assign to the i value 2. So just I'm printing the i value 2. So here the i value 1 and i value 2 should be same. Just run and see. If we see that the both the value are same. Because first I am just storing the value 2000 and the what is the, uh, the pointer value for this i value 1, right? It's storing into the pointer integer variable. And after that, again, from this pointer to, I'm assigning to the our integer variable, I value to. That's the value is here. Now, let's talk about the record pointer. So, let me open. So, here one of the uh, very application I have created. Okay. So, record pointer. How to declare first the record? You know that, uh, like, we can declare the T imply record, okay, of type record. And we can declare the different data type. Of value okay so here i have taken the first name middle and last name but we can declare the different data type right variable in the record now we 
here what I am doing, this is the record type value I am taking. So, P imply record of record type value I am taking. Now, what I am doing here on the button click, I am taking the variable of the P imply record. Okay. So, this is the record type. So, now taking the value, variable of this type and after that I am just assigning the value. So, what is new? It will uh, assign the memory. Okay. And after that, uh, just the assigning the value of the first name, middle name, last name. And then I'm just uh, putting into the, uh, this, uh, printing into the mem, mem, okay. And then we have to dispose this, right. So we have the assign the memory, right, with the name. So we have to free with the dispose. So let's run and see it. So here, the, just I'm storing the record. I'm storing the first name, middle name, and last name, right. And this in the memory, I'm printing the concatenating first name, middle name, and last name, and printing it. Let's run and see it. So if you see it, full name of the employee is right. This concatenated the Rajiv Kumar. Rao. 